Hey everyone, Barrett here. Today I want to talk about navigation. And by navigation, I mean finding your way on the trail, whether you're in a backpacking area, whether you're going hiking, uh, regardless of what you're doing. Finding your way on and off the trail to get you back to safety, that's the most important part of the navigation. And I'm going to talk about the two forms of navigation that I always carry with me, whether I'm hiking or backpacking, regardless of the situation. Stick around to the end of this video because I also have a question for you. I'm going to add something new to my backpacking kit, my entire setup, and I want to know your opinion of it. I want to know some of you, have, have you had one? Do you use one currently? And we'll talk about that at the end of the video. So for now, let's hit the trailer. Let's set in my office. <laughs> So, yes, I'm in my office today, and the main reason I'm in my office today is because the last probably four or five days, periodically, just on and off, it's been pouring down rain, it's been thunderstorms, uh, early morning thunderstorms, late night thunderstorms, it's just really been bad, and, and the road, the, the trails are, they're just saturated, you know, and if you live anywhere in the southern United States, and you know, you know, Alabama, Louisiana, areas, Texas, it, it, you know that if it's going to be like 100 degrees in the day, that's going to be your high, and it rains early that morning, man, that afternoon is just so humid and muggy. It's just, it, forget it. You know, it's just not comfortable to do anything during the day. So I decided not to do, go out and do a lot of hiking and a lot of trails this, this week. Um, maybe the next weekend or the weekend after, I'm, I'm going to try to go do a backpacking trip, get out there and do a little overnight trip, something like that. Maybe we can talk about planning that in another video. But in this video, like I said, I want to talk about the two things that I carry every time I go backpacking or hiking, regardless of the situation. So the very first thing, the most important thing that I carry with me every time I go backpacking or hiking, and I practically carry it with me everywhere, and it was actually on a list that I give one of my first videos we talked about it. I'll put a link up here. Um, it's my cell phone. I carry my cell phone and I carry the Gaia GPS app on my cell phone. And this app is incredible. It works regardless of cell coverage, whether you have a cell service or not. It will pick up the satellites, show you where you're at, and let you track where you're going to be. It will allow you to find your way out of there, find your way down to a trail. It shows you really good topographical maps of where you're at, and it's constantly being updated. That's one of the most important things. Now, if you get the regular version of this app, you can actually use it without getting a subscription. You don't have to pay for a subscription to use this app. And it's, like I said, it's really good detailed, a lot of detail in there. There are a lot of other apps, um, All Trails, View Ranger. Uh, there's quite a few others out there. Any one of those that you wish to use, whatever you like to use, whatever you feel comfortable using, that's the one you need to use. And this is what I use. I just use, like I said, it's Gaia GPS great app works really well i do have the subscription so i'm I, I can save my trails that way if there's a trail that i like or something i remember on a trail i can go back down that trail um and it also gives me a, a little bit of more variety of topographical maps that i can use access to and things like that you can even use a satellite views but that app is perfect and that app replaces an older piece of hardware i have we'll talk about that in a second the second thing I always carry, whether I'm backpacking or hiking, my compass. This is a Sunto MC2 compass. Um, love this thing. It's great. And I advise if you're going to do a lot of really, really intricate outdoor hikes or backpacking trips or anything like that, get a compass with an adjustable declination. And you can see it right, right there. That's the declination screw. And this little wrench right here will allow you to adjust it according to the declination of, and I think I'm saying that right, of magnetic north to true north on your map. There are, there are hundreds of videos out there on how to set up the declination on your map, how to adjust your map, how to find your bearing, how to find your way, all of that stuff on compasses. I'm not gonna go into all those things. Um, again, I'm just learning a lot of it myself, but I always carry a compass and I do know some of the basics on 
how to find my bearing, how to follow a bearing, and how to set a bearing on a map so that I can get out of a certain area, plus how to find my location, triangulate my location on a map. That comes to part of the second item, a map. These are National Geographic trail maps. They're great if you're in like a big park. I've got them for Guadalupe, a couple of other places in Texas here. If you're in a really big, big park, these are outstanding maps. Great to use. They're, they're just, they're really detailed. They've got all the trails marked and they usually keep these pretty current. So you can find on here all the information you need. If not, you can go to the trailhead at the state park that you're going to and find this map. Now, this is a map of Cleburne State Park. Um, I like this park. It's a little small park. It's got really nice hiking trails that go around the lake. One goes up by the dam and the spillway. It's really nice. But remember, always get the trail map. See, this is a trail map, and it has, it has the topographical. It's got a little bit of detail, but it's got your north and south and all your, your north indicator and everything on there. You can see that right there. This same exact place offered this map which this is just the campsites. You don't want this map. This is basic, just campsites, no topographical view, no nothing. This is a simple little map. Don't get this one. Get the one that actually specifies trails map. And if you can't find one, let's say you go there, you call them and you're setting up your appointment because now you have to set up an appointment to go to a, a campsite. Let's say you call ahead and they're like, oh, we're all out of the trail maps. Go to their website, go to the Texas Parks and Wildlife website or whatever state you're in, go to that state's website for the Parks and Wildlife and go find the PDF for that map and print it out. If you need to, you can actually go to places like Staples, Office Depot, there's a couple other places that will print them in poster size, which they're a little bit bigger, maybe closer to this size. That'll make it easier to read and easier to carry. Okay, so now, back to that question that I had of, am I gonna put this in my pack? Do I need one of these? And if so, tell me which one you use and how we're gonna do it. I used to carry this everywhere I went on the trail. This is a Garmin E-Trek GPS, handheld GPS. It's, it's lightweight, it's comfortable, it's easy to use, it's got backlit, it'll pull up like 12 satellites, you can, it'll follow you on your trail, then when you get to an area you can say backtrack and it will return you home using the trail that you walked to get there. It's great. But ever since I started using my phone, I, I don't need this anymore. This, to me, this is antiquated maps. You've got to go on here. You've got to update the maps constantly. I don't need that. I get updated maps on my cell phone. I get updated information on those. The GPS on those is just as accurate. I don't have a problem with using that. So I'm going to get rid of this and not carry this anymore. And I'm wondering, I, okay. I camp local. And when I say local, I mean parks in Texas, little parks around this area, probably 100, 150 miles around me. Those campsites have really good detailed maps. Um, you're within a couple of miles of people. So you're gonna find somebody, there's always somebody out there camping. And I normally, like I said, just carry the two con components that I showed you here in my navigation system. My cell phone, my compass and a map of that park. But I'm planning on doing a trip in the future to Big Bend, to Guadalupe Mountains, anywhere along those lines. And I am wondering, do I need to invest in a satellite communication device? Um, Spot is one of them. Uh, Garmin has the InReach, which they have the InReach Mini. They have a bigger one. And then there's uh, Zoleo is a new one. Uh, I'm sure there's a handful of other ones out there, but those are the main three that I know. The probably the top three: Spot, Garmin InReach, and the Zo, uh, Zulio. They communicate directly with a satellite. Now, they're expensive. They have a monthly fee that you pay. 
I want to know, do you use one? My, as my viewers, as the people that watch these channels, backpacking community, do you use one? And if you do, what do you use and why? Tell me your details, your pros, cons. If you don't use one anymore, tell me why you stopped using one. That would help me a whole lot. I'm just looking for your feedback. Let me know. Also, if you like the information I give you on this on this site, please, you know, Hit us, hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. I'd really appreciate all the effort and the help of just, you know, follow me and subscribe. Hit that bell icon and, and I'll notify you every time, you know, we're going to do some stuff. And I just, I really appreciate all your, your views and I appreciate your comments and, and thank you very much.